Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Your playthrough in Galactic Civilizations 2. So we've identified a Terran fleet here with four movement speed. That is, uh, it's actually heading towards my starbase. My economy starbase. Hopefully uh, they'll ignore this ship, but they might turn around now that they are next to it. We will find a fleet and redirect. And hopefully it... Uh, I can't recall. Is it going to just go straight for that location, or is it going to follow that fleet? Our research program has continued to bring our civilization great triumphs. Oh, how, how, how fascinating for you. No, it's not going to trace that, chase that ship. But that fleet, with its six missiles, is probably going to do significant damage to the Economy Starbase. Economy Starbase has 111 with 50 HP. They've only got 24 HP, but double the firepower. And that's going to cost us a lot of money if they kill that. So, um... We've been trying to knock out a lot of technology, but... I think it's time to flip back to something a little bit more sensible. A little bit more balance. We need more defense. More ships. We'll do that. And then, uh... We don't need more builder ships right now. Let's change up to the... Small Mark 1. And we're going to change the, the military rally point. And let's send... You to military rally one. Let's have you continue to build small mark ones. You are going to re rally to military rally now. Your military producing colony. The Torians have taken that ascension crystal up there. Something worth being aware of. Now, I had some other ships. Didn't I? At one point, the Border Scouts, they must have been killed. I'm not seeing them in the list. No, they still do. Yep, they are still moving. These would have been better with Border Scout. Uh, the... This design, I think. Okay, so, uh, we'll knock out some more ships, and they should probably be able to intercept that. Basic logistics will allow us to make bigger fleets. We're going to need some more miniaturization, maybe. The impulse drive. Wow, we don't even have that. Well, we definitely need that. Let's uh, take these and then manage. So we can do, do fleets of eight now. We'll just have them on auto attack, I guess. They're so slow. We need that impulse uh, impulse engine. We need lots of things. Let's let's be reasonable, realistic. All right, so now we have pretty much all of the major civs spied upon. With more being spied on the Terrans, who we're actually at war with. we have advanced. With cash spent on espionage reaching well into the trillions. We now have spies in all facets of the Terran Alliance. From trade to military, there is no shred of information we don't have knowledge of. 
Now we're gonna pull back a couple of these guys now and spread them out on other people again. Not the minor sieves, but see if we can bump up espionage on all these other guys. And then eventually we'll start using them for actual like using them on Terran planets. Like if I wanted to, I could go into their planet and I could, you know, put an agent on this research node and say that structure can't do anything unless you nullify the agent. It's kind of like a it's an espionage mini game in in the game. So that's six out of nine. We know there was a Terran fleet coming this way. And that is why you want lots of uh, espionage, so you know where their fleets are headed. Okay, they've auto combined into fleets, and now you guys can intercept. So, giving them experience is unfortunate. We lost three ships. They just have more firepower in these fleets. They're ahead of me. In uh, strength, but... We'll make up for it with quantity for now. But killing at least one of those ships should help protect the... Uh, What's it called? The space port, spaceship. Let's say um, starship rally points. Ship's going to military rally one. Go to build rally one. Colonies that are going to military rally one. Go to build rally one. Okay, so now these two... We only have two planets that are making, but they're going to rally directly to the starport and hopefully protect it. You know what I'd really like? Alright. Economy Starbase 992. Started with 50 life, lost 15... But we did kill both ships. We didn't lose anything, so... That's good. We don't have a repair module, so this thing can't get repaired. Um, and it... Starbases do actually gain experience, so... It's level 1 now. It will gain increased maximum HP. It's at 52. Okay, let's re-rally. Starship... Rally points that are going to build 1. Go to military again. We're not going to get too much done. Against them. No Terran ships in sight. New agent available. So we have lots of fleets with nothing to do now. So where do we want them to go? I would say probably we want to rally forward. Actually, are we are we in an aggressive position right now? I don't think so. It's more defensive, really. So let's rally ship types. The small Mark 1s are going to rally to the military rally. And if you don't technically have a ship type, go to Military Rally as well. The only problem with that is I think that that can actually reassign...
No, the defenders are not, um, not heading anywhere. Just tabbing through the ships. The sensor boat. has reached its destination. Let's send it to here and then set it on sentry. Same thing with you, your sentry. <laughs> Impulse drive will pick up the speed of all of our ships by one. Tor, the ore, we're in fifth place, most powerful. Eh, it's not not good. We need better ship types. And yeah, we do have planetary invasion, but we're not at war with uh, really anyone that we can reach. I don't want these Terran planets. This planet has 6.6 .6 billion people here. Now they've got three missile defense. Well, we're going to have to pick on the weakest guy. We're going to have to actually go after the core, the uh, corks. There's like no other person that's weak enough for us to beat. And they're actually just as strong as we are right now. But they're the closest. They've got planets that we can use. It's unfortunate that they're providing us with so much income. Let's see if we can still make some use out of this planet. Charging stocks research center. We'll buy that. Cancel these two charging stocks. They're never going to happen. And then the charging stocks here. I guess it is at 18. We're already at 8 billion. I guess it could benefit. Okay, so what happens with sensors is you unsentry, like, it's located a fleet, and so it'll show up in my tab list. Um, let's grab our fleet here. You can go in auto attack, go after that ship. Yeah, I think we're going to have to attack the corks. If the Terrans ever decide to, you know, stop being at war with us. I'd really like another planet that can make ships. These are all troop transports. Heavy fighters with a troop transport. They've got 26 logistics already. So the Torians are, I would say, way, 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 way ahead of me in strength right now. Alright, so this fleet has arrived. I mean, I can only put together fleets that are nine, and theirs can be 26 large. They are invading like crazy. Let's not mess with the Torians. In fact, we should do whatever we can to get on their good side. <laughs> their defenders have three missiles. And we've just learned how to make the impulse drive. Yay! Hmm. I'm going to have to get our manufacturing up if we're going to get anything done. Can't even see how many weeks. Seven weeks. Okay. Gotta do that. Alright. 
And I'd say the Torians are going for winning in every single way they possibly can. Same time, I still need better troop, troop types, ship types. Let's do this. Um, we're gonna switch gears on the the ships. We go to governors. Colony reassignment. Starships. Starports with destination. No. Starports building smalls. I want you to build freighters. And then... Ships going to military rally. Go to none. They've just unrallied the two colonies. And then we're going to replace... You know, actually though, I don't really want freighters being built on Rathra. It's a low-pop planet. And... No, actually that's okay. But, okay, we're going to build a couple more freighters and we're going to ship them off to the Torians to try to make the Torians like us. And then we're going to break off the uh, trade routes of the Corks and go attack them. And just hope that we can somehow eke out an advantage over this mess over here. Because it's dangerous. These people got all terrifying quickly. I mean, at the very least, we do still have, like, some military power. Like, we're not that... We're, we're okay. Like, hopefully no one will want to pick on us. Have you been keeping an eye on the Terran Alliance? Their power is growing. Yeah, totally. AI does not like that the Terran Alliance is so strong. Our economy sucks. Actually, is that our economy? No, that's the Thalons. We're here. Terrans have surpassed the Torians in population. That was them launching all their troop transports. Terrans' production has gone sky high. And the Thalons' influence is huge. Okay, well, it's scary, but we'll see. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.